Buchanan, you are a victim of uh, priest abuse. Yes, I am. And this happened in Jamaica when I was 16, going on 17 years old. You had a chance yesterday to talk to Bishop Cicluna and others members of the church, I mean, in the preliminary meeting that they have with you. What are your impressions about that, I mean, after that meeting? I was very disappointed with the meeting because we expected Pope Francis to be there because we have a unique opportunity. Each of us at that meeting represents hundreds and thousands of victims around the world because I'm a representative of ECHA. I'm one of the founding members of ECHA, which is Ending Clergy Abuse. And each of us went in there really expecting Pope Francis to be willing to hear what we have to say because he says he's serious about child abuse. He's serious about ending clergy sexual abuse. He says he's serious. So if he's serious, why didn't he show up to the meeting? They wanted to listen to our stories, and we weren't ready and willing to tell our stories because for us, that re-victimizes us. So it's not about the story anymore. It's what are you going to do about those that raped us? What are you going to do about it? So we were there to tell the steering committee about what is possible, what could be done to end this. What kind of answer uh, have you gotten? It just seems like they're running the same playbook, different words, same things. It doesn't, there's nothing in there about zero tolerance of priests who have abused children, nothing in there about zero tolerance for priests, bishops, cardinals, anyone who has covered up this abuse, and nothing in there about firing those priests, removing from the priesthood any of those who have been complicit in the abuse of kids, like nothing. It's just the same old, same old. And I'm like, reflections for the week. What do you mean reflections? This is a week of action. Like they have had years, decades to reflect on child sexual abuse. Like we're done with reflections. Like what are you doing, going to do to act, to put into place things that will stop this? What are you gonna do? It's more of the same. According to your knowledge, are some of the bishops accused of abuse or complicity taking part of the meeting? We have credible accusations on file from some archdiocese that some of the priests that are actually going to be there have been credibly accused of either cover-up, mostly of cover-up. So for us, the cover-up is just as bad as the abuse. Because if you know there's a priest that has raped, say there's a priest that has raped me, and you cover it up, and then you move him to another parish, and he rapes somebody else, then you move him to another parish, and he rapes somebody else, you're just as complicit in the rape, because you could have stopped it with just the rape of me or the beforehand. What are your real expectations regarding what the meeting will have, or with what the meeting are going to come up? Well, I am expecting Pope Francis at, at noon on Monday to say, okay, I am ready to put into universal church law zero tolerance for bishops who have abused, raped children. I'm willing to put into church law universal, right into church law, universal church law, any bishop, priest that has covered up these crimes.